Good morning, YouTubers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all over the world. Fall is upon us. Are you ready for Thanksgiving? Here in the man cave, we continually work on this ship. But in the meantime, we still have other things we have to work on, too. Christmas is right after Thanksgiving. I had to get my tree down and make sure it's ready. Checking all the lights and the branches and stuff. My wife's going to have to decorate it. But I want to make sure all the bones are good so the shed has changed its face a little bit but we still have room to do what we need to do here and today the main mast bottom sail as you can see here has lots of ropes they're going to go down to the deck. So there's at least eight ropes just on the sail control. And you know, when you pull on these, different functions are going to take place of drawing the sail up to sort of roll it or close it which the bottom sail I'm planning on having rolled up or closed or whatever you would call it so that it's not catching the wind and that's for the purpose of um, a better view into the stuff on the deck and the ship and that sail not being in the way We'll do that with all, we'll see the one in the back doesn't even have a sail, but we'll do that with these two here. And then the front of the main will have fully furled out. I think I did that with this build too. Yeah. The bottom two front bottom sails were rolled up. So you could see more of what was going on on the deck. <clears throat> so we got all the ropes done on this drawing for the bottom sail. Got these here and these here. And located the uh, the spots where they need to go so when we go to install that we're going to have this mess here to deal with so we got several ropes that are going to be involved with the actual yard arm itself and the lifting ropes and the sail control ropes for the yard arm. Just a few and I've sort of figured out that these numbers represent the three different masts um, that's why there's only two here because the rear mast doesn't have a sail but the rear mast does have a yard arm so there's going to be ropes for the yard arm but not for the sail and those ropes are going to go down to a certain spot on the deck but gearing up for today we want to try to 
get this sail attached to the mast where this bearing wraps around there and hugs the mast. And then uh, before we start tying off all these detail ropes, we'll try to get the yard arm secured to the mast and the hoisting ropes. And the few that are involved with that, because there's one, two, three, four, it looks like, that go down to the deck. A bunch of double pulleys up there. So yeah, this is going to be fun, getting all this threaded up. There's our double pulleys for lifting the yard arm. Most of the ones on the bottom here are used up except for that one there and these ones on the end. So this one's not even showing in our drawings here. Artesia Latina fails me again. That's the yard arm. There's one there. Yeah, here it is. The only problem is, I, you know, other than this divot sticking out of the side of the ship, I have no numbers to go by, so... We'll just deal with those last because they're going to be, so this one goes up instead of down at an angle. It goes up and then down to a baling pin. So I think we have enough information. <laughs> I think we have too much information. Yes, too much information. So I did the middle cell first because I'm going to try to populate the middle here first and try to get all the tie downs done for the middle section and then we'll go to where we got a little more room to work instead of trying to populate these front or mast or rear mast first and having stuff in the way to work on the middle we'll do the front and the rears last well, that's the plan of attack today get this baby mounted I spent about two hours I guess sewing this up and then getting all these ropes secured these ones here that go to the sail are tied off in the back on the yard arm and then they go down the back and come up through the sail lip and then up to a pulley and then down to the deck so when you pull on these it's gonna pull the sail up like that But we'll try to roll it up a little neater looking after we get the yard arm installed on the ship. Just trying to keep everything organized. So we got her hung. There was a big eyelet rope pre-installed on the yard arm and now after the eyelet rope I did the bearing which is that thing with the beads on it there got that tied off so to stabilize this yard arm now We got a stationary tie point up here and facing the bow that goes in both directions to the ends of the yard arm. 
and then this thread here is going to go out to the block on the end and then back to one of these blocks here yeah I'm pretty sure it's that one let's see how we can get this in there because after it goes through this it's going to go down to the deck But I want to be on the back or the front. Hmm. The diagram that shows those two support ropes doesn't show the sail. <laughs> So it goes, the wind is blowing the sail, it's going to go to the back, which means I want to come through the back up here. stabilize one side once we get that tied off down below and now we do the other side and we'll tie both of them off all these other lines starts up here above the crow's nest through this block here and down I almost want to buy me another pair of these long tweezers Did I twist that over? Yes. I sure did. It's hard to tell which way you want to go through the pulley before you get it run all the way. And probably 30% of the time I go through the wrong side and I got to go back. Pull it out and rerun it. That's better.
So with those two tied off, that'll stabilize the yard arm going this way and this way. And I'm not going to do these two big ones here until I get all the other ropes done in the middle because this is going to be right across the opening where I'm going to be reaching in at. And I don't want that in the way until we get all these other. We've got four, four here and this one we just ran is five. So that's 10, and I think there's, yeah, we're going to have at least two more for the big double block hoisting, hoisting ropes that hoist the yard arm up and down from the deck. I haven't run them in there yet because I want to stabilize this first, so I will attach these wherever they're supposed to go I gotta find that in the prints and that'll stabilize this and then I can reach in there and get these hoisting ropes done and then we'll worry about all these other ones because some of these are going to go to the outer edge of the deck along the railing and the other ones I'm pretty sure all these go to the outer side of the along the railing side of the ship and the other ones go in the middle around the mast. There ain't much room left in there either. Good grief almighty. I got three, four bailing pins left open and I got several two double blocks left open on the bottom and then there's also one, two, three, four, five eye bolts left open down there on the bottom. We'll just go one at a time, terminate. If we run out, we can add some here and there, but we don't want to get too deep into it right now because we've got to just do one at a time. Okay, we got the secured and furled up. I might furl it up some more, but for now it's out of the way. To do the rest of the ties. I gotta do the main lifting ties in here and then these tails out here on the edge. But that was a great accomplishment so far. The main mast lower sail installed. Thanks for watching.